Hello everyone, welcome to another video and today we are going be, to be doing a top, like, just top stuff that I've gotten. No, it's I think it would be called a monthly favorites. I'm going to be showing you guys some of the things that I've gotten in the month of January that I really, really just love. Just some things that I've bought and then some just like random tchotchke stuff that doesn't really seem like it has any purpose. Except for just being really cute. Or just being very like, just like random. And some stuff that I just like, I like that I like some like, um, some like body care stuff. And just stuff that I like to have around the house. So let's get started with the first thing, which is this Sacramento Kings stress ball that I got at a Kings game that I got on the 2nd of January. I'm just saying what day I got the stress ball from because it's like really, really nice. It's nice quality. It's not like those regular like squishies you see on like Instagram and YouTube. They're like super squishy and super like slow rising like those like like those cakes that you get at, like Banggood. Those like other things. But this is just like a really good stress ball. Just like if you get stressed out during school or about school, you can just use this. My next thing is this thing that you may have seen from my last video which is my Daiso Japan haul and I also wanted to tell you that I have now officially hit 1,000 views on my YouTube channel officially I've been over 1,000 views for a while and I wanted to thank you guys for helping me get through 1,000 views um, overall on my channel, I understand that this channel has been through a lot of rough times. I've had my prime, I trying, and I'm just trying to go through a renaissance. I've been very, very busy. I understand I have, like, I'm bad at, like, uploading things, but just, like, I'm trying to upload more. I want to upload more. That's what I'm going to try to do. So, back to this. I have this lavender air freshener that you guys may have remembered from my from my Daiso Japan haul that I made for the first day of the 2018 New Year's Video Blitz. And this I really really like because it's not like powerful. You know that lavender is like kind of like a powerful scent. Or is it jasmine? I don't know. Lavender and jasmine. I also want to let you guys know that I actually didn't upload the um, Saturday and Sunday videos after the New Year's Video Blitz. It's because I said in my final New Year's Video Blitz video where I'm going to be talking more of my update video where, I'm going, where the channel is going. I plan every month I have a break where I don't upload videos on that weekend because I upload Saturday and Sunday. And if you guys want to know more, watch that video, the final video of the day four of the New Year's Video Blitz where you can see a bunch of like, um, like just stuff that you may want to know for the future of this channel. I upload Saturday like gaming videos and stuff and Sunday I just do like a bunch of just like 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 this just like top tens just stuff. I'm also going to start recording the top ten of the month that's also been talked about on my fourth day because I want you guys to get caught up and I just want you guys to know what's been going on. So, so this is just my lavender um, thing, this, my lavender air freshener, it's a subtle fragrance air freshener, it's a liquid air freshener, it's kind of like, let me take this off, let me see, it's a little wet, but this is like, it has this little, like, wax spout thing, where you put, where the fragrance goes, it's like this weird cone freshener, air fresheners that you put in your bathroom. But this is a good air fragrance. And also two body care things that I've gotten recently. Because I went to the mall with a friend of mine. And I got, I went to Bath Body Works. They were having their clearance sale. 75%, 50-75% to 75 off a lot of, of certain items. 
and I got two things that looked really cool for 75% off because I like a deal. So the first thing is I got this Coco Shea Honey Ultra Conditioning Bath and Shower Jelly. And it's a rich lather shower jelly. It has cocoa extract, shea butter extract, and pure honey. It's just like, think of a lush shower jelly, but just like, it's not as like firm. A lush shower jelly is like firm and you grab a clump. This one's like nice and smooth and liquidy. And yet when you like take it out, I'm like, let me open it. Like, see, it's like, you like poke it. It's like, it's not going through unless you like force your finger into it. Oh. And it, it smells really good. It smells like, it smells like, like honey. It kind of smells like shea butter and honey. Mostly shea butter. I haven't really had shea butter, but I really like the honey. It makes my body smell good. It makes my makes my body feel good. It makes my like body like really smooth because I have sometimes like really dry skin, like mainly on my legs and arms, and I just been wanting to use that. And now I also have this. It's very fancy. I'm like, this is the fanciest thing. Like, one of the most fanciest things I own. It's this from the Bath and Body Works. The Fragrance Experiment. And see how rainbowy it is? It is rose. Alluring and feminine. I understand feminine, but you're a boy. I'm like, I know, but... I just like the feminine dainty products that they sell at Bath and Body Works. Sometimes they're like, I need some stuff for like, oh, this for men. Or like, or like, I need like a deodorant. I need like powerful like male deodorant and stuff. And I'm just like, hmm. And, but I just like, I want something that makes me smell good. That doesn't like, so I don't like have an overpowering musk of like Axe Spray and Speed Stick. So I have this Rose Mousse to Oil body like body lotion thing it is a luxurious smooth with vitamin e transforms into a lightweight oil to leave your skin feeling soft and silk soft as silk i've never had silk i think my mom had a silk robe until she switched to a different one when i was younger but just like I think more like velvet, like those juicy, like, couture, like, bodysuits that they had in, like, the 90s. I just, I love this. This makes my body, like, feel super good. Like, see, it's like a little nozzle. And you, see, you just put a little bit on. And you just rub it on. Just put a little bit on. You can like scrub it on your arms, scrub it on your legs. And now you just have a nice scent of rose. My next thing is another thing from my Daiso Japan haul that I really, really like. I already used one and it's these compressed towels. These are the regular size compressed towels. I got these. I've used one when I like right when I got back, and like before I even use them. Let me show you how these work. See, this looks like one of those like little mint things. So what you do is that you take one of these, you take some water. Let me move this, let me move this package out of the way. You take some water. You take this little compressed towel, you open it, eh. just quickly open it, you open your water, see, see so look how this thing, and then plop it into the water, and just watch it, just like it grab all of that water, and then what you do now is that you try, you like grab it, and then you like, getting all wet all over.
these are like good for like just little spillages it's like it's like maybe like a little bit of a makeup wipe as well so it's a pretty good size towel it's just like a really good like hand towel and you saw how that thing expanded like really really quickly and it came in a pack of eight and I also I wanted to get the face mask because what you can do is that you can like create like different blends of like your favorite like oils and stuff and you can put it in the um, face you can put it on your face Oh, this is from a hot dog I had. I have this just I have this regular napkin that I had that I have. And I have this towel, this compressed towel. Just wipe it off and let it dry. You can either use it wet or you can use it dry. If you have like a very like like dry spill and you need something wet so you can wet it, use a compressed towel. I guess we have one more thing left. Before I show it, I wanna, before I show it, it's like, it's the cutest thing I ever, it's like, one of my favorite things. I have a lot of plushies, I love them all to death. I have like an entire, like, two bags, two to three bags of stuffed animals that I have under my bed because I, when I switched out my bed, if you guys remember, I switched out my bed, I, I had to put almost all of my plushies away. And now I only have like, I only have two plushies and all the rest of them are under my bed, under the storage place under my bed. So I have this. It's the cutest thing I've ever seen. It is a Donald Duck Disney Ufufi. Ufufi. It is a it you originated from from Disneyland Disney Store Japan. It is this giant just ball of just like fluffiness. Just like so 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 cute. Just it's just so cute, so soft. It's so squishy. And it's just like whenever I like feel stressed out or like upset or just like I need just like something to hug out to, like whenever I'm just like like in a mood, if they even want to call it a mood, I just use this. I cuddle up with it. I just hug it for like a like a minute, and I just feel much better. It's so soft. It's it's Donald Duck. If you didn't notice, it's super big. I think I got the medium sized one because I remember there was this tiny tiny one. It was like it was like the size of this the snow globe I have. And then there was like a more medium sized one. That was called the small. There was a tiny, small. This is medium. Imagine a giant one, like a jumbo one. I would be in heaven because these things are so soft, so cute. And this is like one of my favorite things. I love all the other stuff. I just love this super duper. Like, I love it. It's so soft and I love it. So, my little Donald. And I also have my Gudetama, which I love to death. I just leave him there. Because I don't want him to get hurt. Whatever. I took him on a trip once. What am I... What am I... That sounds creepy. But, well, that's all for my... For my January favorites of the month. I understand there's like a, like a week left of the month still. Like a week, two weeks left in the month. But I'm just like... I want to... I want to do, I just want to do it now because I have my top 10 thing I'm going to do. So, thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys have a nice and safe day. Bye!